Welcome back to So Easy. Today we will be making a blind drawstring bag with a box bottom. To start off you will need two pieces of material for your outer bag, two pieces of material for your lining, some ribbon for your drawstring, matching thread for sewing, some clips, a bodkin or a safety pin and an unpicker. To start we will begin with the lining of the bag. Turn both pieces right side facing each other and clip together. At one side we'll be leaving an opening which we'll be using to pull our bag through. Use pins to mark this spot so that you don't forget while you are sewing. Do the same for the outer bag. Turn the right sides face each other and clip all the way around. For the outer bag we'll be sewing along all three sides. When we start sewing our lining, remember to begin and end with the back stitch. Once you get to the corner, leave your needle in, lift your foot, turn your material 90 degrees, put your foot down and sew towards your pin. Once you get to your pin, end off with a back stitch. We will begin sewing the next pin and sew towards the corner. Once at the corner, Leave your needle in, lift your foot and turn your material and keep going. End off with a back stitch. For the outer bag we'll be doing exactly the same, sewing along all three sides, no need to leave an opening. Use your iron and press open all the seams. Once all your seams are pressed, we'll begin the box bottom. To make sure that your seams line up, stick a pin right in the middle of your one seam and push it through making sure it comes out the middle on the other side. This way you are guaranteed that your seams will line up. Do the same for all four corners of your little bags. Measure 6 cm from edge to edge with 3 cm in the middle of your seam. Mark that line with a pencil. Do the same for the other three corners. Beginning and ending with a back stitch. Sew along all four lines. Once that's done, use your scissors and snip off the corners. Now to attach the two bags. With your outer bag still inside out, turn your lining right side out. You will now place your lining inside the outer of your bag and line up the seams. So both right sides of the bag will be facing each other. Once the seams are lined up, clip in place. Once clipped, we will be sewing around the outer of the bag. Place your bag over the free arm of the sewing machine and sew all the way around.
When sewn, pull the lining of your bag out and now we will press the seam. Once pressed, pop your hand into the opening that we left and pull the whole bag through. Push out the corners of your outer bag. Tuck your lining back into your bag and line up the seam. Once your edge is all lined up, use your iron to press. Using a ruler, measure 3 cm from the opening of your bag and mark with a pencil. Once measured on both sides, draw a line. Before we measure the second line, make sure that the width of your ribbon will fit easily between the two. Once measured, mark all the way around your bag and draw a line. Pop your bag over the free arm of your sewing machine and sew along the top line. Once the top line is done, move down and sew the second line. Using your unpicker, Unpick a few stitches at both seams. While you're still in front of your sewing machine, sew closed the opening at the bottom of your lining. Using your bodkin or safety pin, clip your ribbon and thread it through the hole in the one seam. Thread your ribbon all the way around, coming out the same hole that you went into and tie a knot in the ends. Before you tie the knots in them, make sure that your ribbon isn't twisted. Using your second piece of ribbon, do exactly the same from the other side. And just like that, your lined drawstring boxed gift bag is finished. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe to our channel and see you soon.